Higher Kind of Faith. I'm Pastor Arlen. So glad you're joining me today. Today is April the 17th. And in the scripture I have for you is found in Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. It says, How be it, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. So he was talking about the highest kind of faith. There is a higher kind of faith to be had than what was given you. So according to Romans 12, 3, it says that each one of us has been given a measure of faith. It's up to you and I to determine what we do with that. See, the more that you use your faith, the stronger your faith becomes. But there is a degree of faith that's higher than that. And that kind of faith only comes by prayer and fasting. And of course, whenever you pray, uh, it helps build up your faith. And then praying with your spirit uh, builds up your, your, uh, your faith according to um, Jude verse 20. It says, uh, praying... Uh, building up, building yourselves up in your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. So there is a higher kind of faith to be had. And, and the combination of praying uh, with your spirit especially and praying uh, uh, with your, your natural ability and fasting takes you to a, a higher degree of faith. There, there may be some things in your life that are being held up and you wonder why. Maybe your faith is a little weak in those areas. And if you're weak, your faith is weak in those areas, those are the areas that you need to concentrate on to build your faith up in those areas. I know whenever I used to exercise a lot, and I still exercise but not near as much as I used to, but there were certain areas in my body that I needed to exercise because they wasn't getting the exercise as other parts of my body. And that's the same way with your spirit that there's parts that you need to exercise. And uh, most people don't, don't pray and um, fast at the same time. And it's important that whenever you go to fast, that you spend the time that you would normally eat in prayer. Um, and that keeps your spirit built up. It keeps you stronger. It helps you uh, to, to build your faith to a higher degree, to a higher level. So um, I encourage you today that if you are going to reach a higher degree of faith, and have that desire, then uh, go go into prayer and fasting. And of course, whenever you fast, it's between you and God. Don't go tell everybody that hey, I'm on a big fast. No, no, you know it's between you and God. Clean yourself up. Look like you're uh, just ate a big meal and you're happy and, and everything. And even though maybe you haven't ate in a couple of days or what, or what not, or even for, for uh, one day. Some people get really, really hungry after just a few hours. Um, and of course, if you are required to by, by medical, uh, your medical doctors, um, I, I encourage you to, to follow their standards. You know, unless the Holy Spirit leads you otherwise, okay? So, anyway, I'd like to say a prayer over you today. Father, I pray for all under my voice today. <clears throat> that they'll rise to a higher degree of faith. Faith in your word. Faith in your promises. Faith for those things that you've given them. Those desires that you've given them to accomplish the great things in their life. For we know if we can believe. All things are possible. And so we give you the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next time.